Hello, this is Wolfgang and today I would like to introduce you to a little tool I wrote during the past months as a replacement for Exist's old um, XQuery sandbox. So to start with, let's assume that we have to write a little XQuery template um, to extract a list of distinct names from a bunch of TI documents we have stored into the database. The first thing we need is a namespace declaration. So to get, there's a templating system built into the editor and we press control space here to get a list of all templates. I select the clear namespace. Um, the prefix would be TI. And now I just press tab to move on to the next parameter within the template. Um, let's paste the namespace UI here. So next we need a function. I again press control space to get a template for a function declaration. I call it list names. And as you see uh, here, the outline view has immediately updated and already shows the new function. So we don't have a parameter and I want to have a let statement here uh, to get my names, the name, one key, person, and then I want to have all distinct value. So I press uh, control space again and I get a list of all functions known to the system at this point um, starting with the prefix I just entered. So I select distinct values on names and now let's output some wrapper code in here to get an HTML list item and I just insert the variable. So I press control space again, and as you see, um, the suggestions also work for local variables as well as global variables. I select name here, close this. Okay. So now let's call our function from within an unordered list. Press control space again. I see my just defined function here. Close that. Okay, so we're done. As you probably noticed, um, the code is constantly being compiled uh, in the background whenever I stop typing for a moment. But just to demonstrate this again, let's do a little typo here. Wait a bit, and as you see, there an annotation popped up and uh, if I mouse over it I'll get a description of the error which is also displayed in the status bar down there. So if I correct that the annotation disappears again. Now let's run this little piece of code within the sandbox. Click on run. There we go. All the names, quite a long list. Let's close this again. So this has just been a very short X query, um, but to demonstrate you the real power of the editor, let's open a real world um, X query module and let's just select one of the largest modules in our bibliographic app, search.xql. So if I browse through this, you'll see that um, the editor really updates very, very fast. There's no uh, time lag when I browse through the file, even though it has probably more than 1000 lines. And if I would like to uh, browse through the code and jump to a function declaration, like in this case, uh, mods retrieve name, I just place my cursor inside um, the function call and I press F and the editor will immediately 
solve <coughs> that function call, load the corresponding module, and jump to the function definition in there. I can repeat this again for demonstration. So it jumps around and I can browse through the code very easily. Um, as you see at the top of my module, it imports quite a few other X-Gray modules and the outline view always updates immediately and shows all the global variable definitions and functions visible from within the module I currently have opened in the editor. And I can click on any of those and jump to their definition in the other module. The same also works for variables. So let's say I'd like to see how uh, config SMTP server is declared here. And yeah, I can immediately jump there and continue browsing. Okay, so this is the first part of my screencast. The second part will cover um, application package development um, and generation of um, application skeletons. Goodbye.